Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to organize my storage room. It needs it badly. I need more storage chests and I found these cute little tables that one back in the corner. I found that cute little table and it works really well. I might because it has a rounded front I may end up turning those around but let's get into it. Let's just start organizing things. I love to organize especially my games. This is where I really miss Animal Crossing. <laughs> because they organize everything. You know, I used to complain about the storage in Animal Crossing. I will never do that again. Alright, so here is what I have so far. I haven't really gotten very far. <laughs> I just didn't think you needed to watch me do all that. I'm just going to move all these chests in, like, rows. And then I'll add the tables in. And then once I add these tables in, then I'm going to start moving stuff from one chest to another, which is going to be such a tedious job. But, and you'll see here in a minute how I turn these. I, I left them. I left them like that for now. I just wanted to see what it would look like. But I feel like they need turned. Like the backside is completely straight. So I feel like they need turned. So let's do that. And I'll meet you back here. All right, I've turned the tables around. I actually think I like that a little better. Like, especially the ones against the wall, because you can't even tell that there's a curve at all. Now they're against the wall. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right. Well, it is time to start moving some things. <laughs> Here comes the fun part, guys. I think I'm going to start with, like, the herbs that you can pick up around your island. I think I'm gonna, or island, yeah, village. I think I'm gonna put that in the first one. And then I might go with greens for the second one and then I'm not sure how I'm gonna proceed, but we'll find out as we go, right? So right now I'm actually just moving things from the storage into my pocket so I can organize them a little better. This is how I did it. I think it, it makes the most sense. We'll just speed through this a little bit and we will come back. The first thing I do here is I go through every single one of my food chests and I move all the herbs into my pockets. That way I can get them all out. They'll all be organized and then I just go back to that first one, empty it. I think there's still stuff in it. I'll empty the rest of it out and then I'll add the herbs into it. Okay, so now I've taken everything out of that first storage bin and now we're going to put in all of these little things. I'm just going to space them out just so that there's room to put as many as I want. I think I'm only gonna want maybe a hundred of each. I don't really need that many. So I think a hundred of each is fine because you can find these around your valley freaking everywhere. So <laughs> that's what I did with this one. And then the second one, when I worked on that, I did, this, I did the same process. I just went through all of my bins and I took out what I needed. And then I went back to the second bin and I took out anything that was in there and just threw them in my pockets and then I just kept going like that so that is how I actually did it and I'm also going to show you how I got out the pieces you know of what's inside those bins and put them on the table without moving all this stuff around you just go and do your furniture and do it that way but I will show you that in a minute so what I did was I went into my furniture mode and I grabbed, actually first I threw them on the floor. I took them out of my pockets and dropped them. And so that's where we're at right now. I just went back to that. And then of course I picked them up by accident. I didn't mean to do that. You don't, don't pick them up guys. Don't pick them up. Let, <laughs> let your inventory work for you. Okay. Just drop them in your, out of your pockets. Go into furniture mode. Because see, now i got to drop them again. But this is how I did it. So, I had to separate them. And then once I did that, then I could drop them on the ground. And this is where you stay in your, stay in your uh, inventory. Because you can go down then and hit furniture. And move everything. So at this point, you just want to pick them up off the ground and lay them up on your table. So this just reminds me that those are herbs. And I did that the whole way down the row. Let's go look at my preliminary solution. And then we'll get to the grand finale where everything is done. 
Thank God this was such a tedious process. Okay, so this is my preliminary one. This is what I this is how I got started organizing. The first one is the herbs, the second one is like green vegetables, and I included corn in that. And then the next one I did like garlic and onion and eggplant because I really didn't know where to put the eggplant seriously. <laughs> and then I ended up doing my shellfish, my regular fish, and the next to last one, I can't remember what I put in there, but it's fine. The last one, I actually put all the dairy and baking baking kind of things. So my sugar cane, stuff like that, and my, my vanilla, I put that there. And then the th there's three there in the middle that I didn't touch. They're just flowers, and I, I don't have them organized at all. I was going to organize them by biomes, and then I decided, you know what, that's too much of a pain, so I'm not doing it. But then all of my gems are beside the flowers. And on my first row, each one of those first few that we can't see anymore are just basically the branches. And I'm probably gonna have one separate for each type. But for right now, I had to I had to mix in the dried with the softwood. You can see what I've done here. You can tell that I put the clay and iron together I put the gold by itself. I put the coal by itself. Other things like the green one, like with the soil and stuff, I put all the soil together. But yeah, I really like it. It, it is going to help me a lot. I hope by watching this video, I know there's a few others out there like this, but I hope this one helps you. I, I kind of did a little more thorough walkthrough so you would know how things actually, you know, how I did it. Not just showing you, hey, do this. I just wanted to show you how I did it. And maybe, you know, I don't know if you were looking for an easier way. I don't know if this was easier for you, but I hope it was. Well, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get more videos like this from Dreamlight Valley. So I will see you guys all next time. Bye.